Okay, so uh, so far we um, we were able to retrieve the uh, courses from the server, and uh, and we can select a particular course. And but currently these all, all these courses are hard coded, right? They're hard coded from um, uh, from a um, a service on the on the in the, in the middle tier. So let's make this a little more realistic. Uh, let's uh, let's go back to the middle tier, and let's see what we have so far here. Um, well, first of all, the course. Is uh is, is kind of bogus, right? We um uh, we have the course not even being stored in the database, right? Uh, which is surprising. Uh, let me let me see. Do we have a, a database here? Uh, web dev whiteboard table course. Uh, so we have course here. Do we have courses? We have a couple of courses. So I guess we can map it to here. Do we have uh, uh, modules? Oops. Do we have modules? So we have here courses 1, 4, and 5. Do we have modules? Uh, week 1, 2, and 3. And all belonging to the first course. And we have course number 1, 50, 6, 10. All right, we have some data here, right? So let's try and map it to this uh, whiteboard. Uh, database here. Uh, let's see. Do we have uh, we have users? Uh, users. We have uh, fifty six ten. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to need here um, the resources, application properties. All right, so we're going to need some uh, some configuration here for uh, for JPA. I don't know them at top of my head. Let's say, let's see, let's look for JPA. Okay. All right, so we'll need a couple of these things. So let's copy this. Uh, we'll need that. Uh, JDBC MySQL. The, uh, the database is um, localhost 3606. And the database is, uh, what is it called? Whiteboard, so it's uh, white board, whiteboard. Okay, uh, the username is CS fifty six ten and CS fifty six ten. I'm not going to update it. Right? I don't want it to recreate this. I don't want it to blow away my my database. Uh, so I'm just going to say none. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? I probably also need the uh, configuration here. Um, oh, I guess we can grab that. Yeah, so this is just so for um, for debugging purposes. This is useful. Okay, in production, probably I don't want any of these. Right? But as a developer, uh, those are very useful. Uh, what else do I want? Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have a POM file for this? All right. So let's grab and add this to our POM file. Uh, let's see in our palm file. Uh, okay, so we don't have JPA here. We don't. All right, so I'm just going to add it here as a dependency. Very good. Uh, all right, so let's try and see if this blows up. Uh, one thing that we might want to do is uh, go to course and convert this into an entity. Let's see if this schema matches the schema that's already in the database. We want to match it against that schema. Uh, let's see what we have so far in course. Columns, we have ID, created, modified, and title. Uh, so we have, uh, we have ID, uh, we have title, we don't have modified, and we don't have created. Uh, which I'm, I imagine those are dates. Uh, so let's, uh, let's uh, and the table is called course. So it matches with the name of the table of this uh, class. So we're going to say this is going to be an entity. Ooh, it doesn't see it. It doesn't see it. Um, it does not see it. Uh, probably I need to update my Maven. So let's do a uh, Maven uh, update project. <laughs> Oop, no. Uh, update. So it's going to download any jar files that for for the uh, for MySQL, 
Uh, let's try this again. And T, T, there we go. So I did find it now. Very good. Uh, we're going to make this an ID. And we're going to make this a generated uh, value. Uh, and this will be the, strat the strategy, strategy equal uh, identity. Uh, so let's make sure that uh, this uh, has um, actually maps to this. Let's see, this ID, um, create table, create uh, the sentence, uh, create. Okay, so it is auto increment. So ID is auto increment. Create is date time. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna do modules just yet because uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, not not quite yet. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, stop retreat. We'll do the modules in a minute. Uh, so course title. Da, da, da. All right. I think that's that's enough. Let's see if this blows up. So let's stop this. And. Um, uh, let's uh, let, let's see if this uh, if, we if it just grabs it. Oops, already. <laughs> uh, what's core service? Oh yeah, we didn't do the core service. Let's see what's uh, what's about core service. Set modules. Oh, all right, because I I removed this. Oh, that's fine. Let's remove that. Uh, course service. All right. Let's uh, let's reboot this. Let's see if it blows up. Okay, it didn't complain. Uh, we're lucky here. Uh, let's uh, for the core service. Let's uh, let's uh, re reshuffle this a little bit. We won't have we won't use a hard coded list of modules and courses. We don't need that anymore. Instead, we're going to use a repository. Let's uh, let's create a repository. Let's create a repository. Let's say new class, and we'll put it in a new package. Repository, Tories, and the class will be a uh, course repository. Uh, actually, no, this is not an, a class. This is an interface. Interface, uh, and this will extend extends um, CRUD CRUD repository, and that knows how to CRUD uh, courses. And it's an integer primary key. There we go. Uh, now that we have the repository, uh, we can, um, in the service, we can inject it. We can auto wire it. We can say uh, auto wired uh, the course repository, repository. Uh, so this is course repository, repository. Uh, so, so the uh, uh, what's course repository? Did I misspell it? Import. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with delete? Uh, delete. Import. Yes. Import all that stuff. Put mapping. Uh, courses. Uh, all right. So yeah, none, none of this is is valid. So I'm I'm just gonna remove this. Return all. Uh, post mapping. Uh, just return course. For now, find all courses. Okay, here we go. For find all courses will be what? Will be a, a this dot course repository dot find all. And we we might need to cast this. So cast. And the find all courses we'll we'll implement a little later. We don't need it right now. All right, so let's restart. See if it blows up. Oh, right, there we go. So those those are the three courses that were in the database, right? And uh, we can add uh, more courses. Right, we can just uh, go to course and then maybe add one more. Uh, so CS uh, 3500. Uh, 3500. 
and uh, CS uh, 4550 and CS 4500. Right, and we're going to apply, insert. Right, so if we go back here and refresh, we have all the courses. Right. Uh, right. So so what we need to do now is is uh is do more or less the same thing for modules, right? And create a relationship between courses and modules. Uh, so let's do that next.